The equation of a curve is y is equals to x squared into brackets 3 minus x. A, find 1, the x-intercept of the curve. 2, the y-intercept of the curve. Part B, 1, determine the stationary point of the curve. 2, for each point in B1 above, determine whether it is a maximum or a minimum. Then finally, the last question, sketch the curve. So let's go to the first part of the question. We are supposed to find the x-intercept of the curve. Now one thing you are supposed to know is that at x-intercept, so at x-intercept, at x-intercept, y is equals to 0. So this is what you are going to do to get the x-intercept. You shall take this equation and substitute y with 0. So let me first uh, expand this. I'll get y is equals to this. Uh, when I open these brackets, I'll get 3x squared minus x cubed. At x intercept, y is equals to 0. So simply substitute. Uh, where we have y, substitute 0. So you shall have this one is 3 x squared minus x cubed. From there, you can factorize this. Uh, 3x squared minus x cubed. What is common? x squared is common. So x squared is common. So when you factorize 3x squared minus x cubed, you shall get x squared is common into brackets 3 minus x this one should be equated to zero like that from here you can get the values of x so from here x squared is equals to zero so x squared you're multiplying two numbers that is x squared and three minus x the answer is zero so x squared is equals to zero so x squared is equals to zero therefore x is equals to zero or three minus x is equals to zero so here x is equals to three so therefore the x intercept we have two values at the x intercept x is equals to zero and x is equals to three let's go to the y intercept now at y intercept at y intercept x is equals to zero so again we take this function y is equals to 3x squared minus x cubed where we have x simply substitute that to 0 so we shall have y is equals to when you substitute x with 0 here you shall get everything to be 0 so therefore the y intercept of the curve should be given as y is equals to 0 we go to the next part now the next part is uh, determine the stationary points of the curve. Determine the stationary points of the curve. Now one thing you need to know is that at stationary point, at stationary points of the curve, the gradient should be equivalent to zero. So this means we're going to take this function, y, is equals to 3x squared minus x cubed. Then we differentiate this to get this uh, function derivative dy dx. So when we get the derivative of this, differentiate y with respect to x. So this one will give 6x minus this will be 3 x squared like that so we're saying that at stationary points of the curve the derivative is equivalent to zero so the derivative is this so we quit this to zero so we shall have 6x minus 3x squared is equivalent to zero so we can solve for x here so factorize what is common here 3x is common so that we have this will be 2 subtract 
x so this will give 6x yeah it is okay is equals to 0 so therefore 3x is equivalent to 0 so the first stationary point is equals to 0 or 2 minus x is equals to 0 so here x is equals to 2 so therefore we have the x coordinates of the stationary points the x coordinates of the stationary points are x is equals to 0 or x is equals to 2 those are the x coordinates we need to get the corresponding y coordinates and to get the corresponding y coordinates we will simply substitute so when x is equals to 0 we substitute in this function uh, y is equals to 3x squared so you simply substitute x is equals to 0 in this function so when x is equals to 0 so you notice that y will be is equals to 0 so the first stationary point the coordinates will be 0 0 that is the first one then the next one is when x is equals to 2 when x is equals to 2 simply substitute it here x is equals to 2 so this will be uh this will be 4 12 minus 8 so this will give 4 so you simply substitute 2 in this function you get y is equals to 4 so the other stationary point will be 2 4 so these are the two stationary points 0 0 and 2 4 the next part the question for each point in b1 above determine whether it is a maximum or a minimum now the easiest way to determine whether a point is a maximum or this stationary point that is 0 0 and 2 4 we want to determine whether each one of these is either maximum or minimum we simply get the second derivative if these if the second derivative is greater than zero then this will be a minimum point if the second derivative if the second derivative is less than zero then this one will be a maximum point how do we get the second derivative this is the first derivative so the second derivative is when you now take this and differentiate it again so the second derivative the second derivative will be given by differentiate this one again you differentiated the first time you got this so again the second time this will be 6 minus this will be 6x so that is the second derivative now we want to test the first point whether the first point is um, maximum or minimum the first point is where we had the stationary point we use the x coordinate the x coordinate is zero so when x is zero when x is equals to zero that is where we have the first stationary point simply substitute it here and you will get these uh, second derivative to be six minus zero so the second derivative here will be six which is greater than zero if it is greater than zero then that is a minimum point so we can say this point zero 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 is a minimum point since we have tested the first stationary point is when the x coordinate is zero we've tested it here and um, we've noted that it's greater than zero so that is a minimum point so what about uh, the second one 2 4 so we use the x coordinate when x is equals to 2 simply substitute it here and you'll get so when x is equals to 2 so the second derivative will be this will be 6 minus substitute 2 here this will be 6 minus 12 that will be negative 6 so negative 6 is less than 0 and therefore that one is a 
maximum point so we can say that 2 4 is a maximum point so that is a maximum point we are through with that so we have determined the first one 0 0 is a minimum point and uh, 2 4 is a maximum point the next thing is uh, sketching the curve we need to sketch the curve from there now to sketch the curve we use two things one we use the intercepts that is the y and the x intercept which you have calculated and two we use the stationary point we use the stationary point so these two are the ones that we use to sketch the curve so we look at the intercepts the intercepts are here so we got the intercept from the first part of the question the x intercept we had um, zero and we have three so we say that x intercept y is zero so the intercepts here will be zero zero and three zero so the coordinates of the stationary points that is the x intercept say that x intercept y is equal to zero so we got x to be zero so the point here will be zero zero be zero zero and uh, this one three zero so that is the first one that you're going to use so we are going to use uh, zero zero and three zero then the y intercept the y intercept is here when x is zero y is zero so that point uh is zero zero we are going to use that so zero zero is there and then the stationary points the stationary points we have zero zero already we have zero zero we don't need to write it again uh we need only this point two four two four so when you look at these points the only points that we need to plot here are three zero 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 and two four so those three points will be able to give us a very good sketch so a sketch is just a, a rough drawing just a rough drawing not the accurate drawing just a rough drawing of what you're going to have here so so as i've said uh the we need a three zero so assuming that three is here three zero is there this is the y and this one is the x this is zero we also need zero 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 is here and uh two four and we need uh two four so assuming that two is here and uh four is there so we need this point that is a point two four we also need to remember that um zero 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 was a minimum point so we should have this one like this that one being a minimum point it should be like that and then two four was a maximum point so maximum point should be like that so when you're sketching you should have this one in consideration that this one this is where we had uh, zero zero minimum point is here uh, minimum point that is a stationary point then maximum point was here two four so this one is the maximum point and the intercepts the intercepts were simply zero zero and three zero 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 and three zero that is how you're supposed to solve that question